Hi, we're going to talk about sigma and pi bonds. Um, this is another way to explain the overlap of atomic orbitals, uh, that when you have two atoms come together, share electrons, um, how those electrons share, a way to represent them. Uh, this really focuses on single, double, and triple bonds, so our multiple bonds. Um, notice sigma, so here's my uh, symbol in the Greek alphabet for sigma, kind of an O with a little tell. Um, it's on the axial plane. Here's what that means. If I have, let's say, these two carbons, I have two carbons that bond together, the two electrons go in between the two nuclei. So I have two atoms come together, the electrons share, and they're going to exist in between the two atoms. That's called the axial plane. Um, now the first two electrons that are shared, we always picture those as going on the axial plane. So if I have um, a double bond, the first two electrons to share always go in between that axial plane. Um, Let's see, now the pi bond. We use the pi bond, notice there's your pi um, from the Greek alphabet. Uh, we use the pi bond to represent where if you have a double bond, okay, here's my first two electrons, they go in the middle. The next two electrons are going to go, this is really interesting, above and below the atoms. Um, it's almost like a sandwich, it's almost like a sandwich. So here's your two pieces of bread, and in the middle are your two atoms. So it'd be like an atomic sandwich. Um, but that's where we find the electron density. Um, now if you have a triple bond, so we're sharing six electrons, um, you're going to have the two atoms, okay, first two electrons, they go on axial plane, right in between the two atoms. Next two atoms, or excuse me, next two electrons go above and below, and then the last two electrons go front and back. So it's like it makes a box, it wraps, a, okay, let's pretend like a burrito. It's going to go around, so you have the, um, you're going to have the top bottom and then you have back and front, side to side. Kind of interesting. Now, this is what you'll be asked. You'll be asked how many pi, how many sigma bonds are there? That's really what you're going to have to do. So here's the quick, dirty way to do it. Single bonds are always sigma. Um, double bonds have a sigma and a pi. Triple bonds have a sigma and two pi. And I'll show you how I write this so that you can keep it straight. So let's look at methane. Um, we're just going to be observing and counting the, uh, the bonds, single, double, triple. So what I do is I actually write sigma next to the bond. Every single bond is going to be a sigma. So each of those single bonds is a sigma. This has four sigma bonds, four sigma bonds. Um, now I come over here. Um, so we're going to have an ethane. Um, let's put our sigma next to every single bond. And so I'm careful to put that sigma by every bond and we'll count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sigma bonds right there. Um, so all of those electrons are being shared right in between the atoms. Um, all right, now we get a double bond. I'm going to do the double bond first. The two electrons very first so it doesn't matter which one you say is which. I just, out of habit, say that the bottom bond is a sigma bond. Um, so there's your two electrons sharing in between on the axial plane. And then you're going to get um, that pi bond. Those two electrons go top and bottom. They'd be above like that. That's your pi bond right there. So whenever you see a double bond, there's a sigma and a pi. Now I have a sigma for each of these single bonds. So if we count this up, I've got one, two, three, four, five sigma bonds and one pi bond, one pi bond. Okay, um, let's look at this ethyne. So we have a triple bond. Okay, the first two electrons, that's going to be my sigma. So I've got the two carbons, two electrons go in between uh, the two carbons, then that second set of electrons, the pi bond, it's going to be go, go top and bottom like that sandwich. And then that third bond, so my um, third set of electrons, okay, electrons six, five and six that are sharing, they go front and back. So you'd have two elect uh, an electron here and an electron behind the board. Um, so you have a pi and two, excuse me, you have a sigma and two pi, always when you have triple bonds. Um, and then we're going to have our sigma and our sigma so if we count this up, we have three sigma bonds and two pi bonds. And there you have it. Um, you'll be asked how many pi, how many sigma bonds. Draw out the Lewis dot structures and then just label, count up. Single bonds are always sigma, double, sigma, and pi. 
triple, sigma, and two pi. You'll do great on this. Have a really good day. If you need more information about bonding, check out the valence theory hybridization video and check out the uh, VESPER, valence shell electron pair repulsion. That will also help you. It's all in the same unit. All right, have a good day. Thanks.